Thank you for joining us on today's video. This is one of the nicest cars we've had here. You say, Tone, you gotta be kidding me. You guys have thousands of cars. Yes, and look back there, all right? Great colors in this showroom today, right? This car right here is over restored. And let me tell you what that means. People restore two doors and convertibles typically because the amount of money it costs to restore a car, right, is significant. It costs the same to restore a four door as it does a convertible and a coupe, you know, roughly the same, right? But these never bring the value. That's why no one restores them. But if a family loved this car, maybe they rode around it as kids or whatever, and they wanted to spend the money to restore it, that's what they would do. And that's what happened right here. And when we look in this car and we look at all the things that are done to it, you're going to say, wow, I got to figure a way to get this in my garage. So this car here underneath is done. Beautiful uh, seafoam green paint, right? Uh, upgraded air conditioning in here as well. The Dynaflow automatic transmission. Buicks were ahead of their time during this period. Most people don't know that Buick built a really spectacular car. Some of them were really expensive. Some of them more expensive than even Cadillacs, right? And in this case here, we're gonna look and see some of the restoration. The color is magnificent, man. It is so beautiful. Forget the fact that it looks great inside this showroom here. Imagine this car going down the street. Everybody, everybody, when I've driven this, Everybody is this, they smile. Even people who don't care about cars look at this car and it makes them smile because it reminds them of a different time, right? We're talking about the mid 50s. The world was very different. We didn't have any internet. We didn't have an iPhone or digital this. We didn't have a, a microwave oven. We didn't have all of those things, right? It was just a more simple time. You know when you came in, you came in to, uh, from playing when the lightning bugs came out. That was your sign that you had to come in, right? And, uh, or your mom or dad whistled for you and you came for dinner, so. Uh, that's what I say when I get in these and I drive them, it just takes me to a different place. All right, so let's take a peek under here. We got our 331 Nailhead V8, right? It's rated at 220 horsepower. This has some upgrades on it. Maybe it's 250 horsepower now. This car really goes uh, down the road. One of the things I do also like too is it has power steering. It has power brakes. This has an electric fan as well because this has updated air conditioning so you can modern air conditioning and heat so you can drive this all throughout the year. Um, the engine compartment is beautifully detailed. It's got some nice decals and things like that. You'd be proud to open the, the hood if you wanted to, if you wanted to go to a car show. New hood insulator in here. A uh, washer pump with the washer fluid reservoir. The steering box is all detailed down there. You can't see everything in the video, but uh, this kind of stuff is the effort that goes into it to make it look really nice. And again, we talked about uh, just the style of it. When you open the hood, you just smile because it's like you can see the whole engine. You can see everything. Like this is the original oil bath style air cleaner. Uh, and it just takes you back to a different time. All right, so this is some of the part of the car that I love the most. It's because if you look through while you're driving behind, you can see the colored interior that's semi-matching everything inside there. It's in the same family. These tail lights are the part. So you have to spend a while to just look at the Look at the vents that they put in here, the way this comes across, this folds in and it comes back out. Somebody put a lot of time just into a taillight design. You know what? This probably took months and months of working through. This is nice too, because they didn't put uh, badges all over everything. They let you know what it was right there, right? It was just a Buick signature during the time. And then this trunk right here is spectacular. Look at this thing. Chevrolet wouldn't give you a trunk uh, as nice as this. Pontiac wouldn't give you a trunk as nice as this. Most Cadillacs didn't have a trunk as nice as this. The spare tire is covered. The jack is repainted and detailed over here. It's got its little tag on it showing uh, uh, that you need to attach the tag to the jack. This little bit of matching luggage that goes in here. Come on, man, this is serious. You go to a car show in this car and nothing but smiles, nothing but happiness. People be telling the stories about when they rode in it and uh, you'll be a happy driver. All right, so come join me back here for a second. I want to talk about this just for a quick moment, if I could. I wanted you to hear that. Like that, that is, like this right here, look at this. Little pieces, maybe you want to take up smoking back here. Uh, but just the, the restoration from the felt headliner, this is what we did back then. This was done in felt. All new fabrics and carpets and just painted detail. The windows roll up so nicely. The great thing about owning this car too is if you wanted to convert a couple small things, like if you wanted to make it power windows, they sell uh, aftermarket power window kits for these. You could convert it to power windows since it already has air conditioning and automatic, a lot of luxury features. Um, but once we get up front, then the dash is really designed for the owner, the driver of the car. This is designed to hang out in. But look at this, man. Can you imagine going to dinner like with another family or another couple? 
uh, taking the kids out in something like this. It's a game changer. It's a completely different experience than taking the SUV or, you know, the minivan or something like that out. This is really, really cool. It makes me smile just thinking about it. The two-tone on the door, the panels. But this I love the most is this. You can't buy this today. No way. No way. Is that right there? is solid. All right, so come join me in here. Listen, what you remember about these, you may have forgotten as well some of the luxury things that came in here. You remember riding around in this car. It was an amazing piece of history, but what you weren't doing was maybe driving one. Maybe you did own one, but maybe back in the day, you know, your parents had one or whatever. A Buick was an expensive car, man. You were upper middle class. You were doing really well, and Buick treated those people to those things. For instance, so many great little features like uh, adjustable speed wipers that were standard, power steering, which is labeled here on the horn, power brakes, right? You started the car by just turning it on and pushing the gas pedal. When the gas pedal went down because you had to pump the gas once anyway, it set the starter motor and that started the car for you. You didn't have to hold it and crank it and do all those things. You were cold, you didn't want your hands to get there. They thought about all of those things. Original Sonomatic AM radio that's still in the car, right? The dash has got full gauges, right? Fuel, amps, temp, oil pressure. You didn't get that in a Chevrolet and most Pontiacs. This was an upper end car. Remember, this has upgraded air conditioning in it, so it's modern air conditioning. And if you wanted to, and I recommend this, is that we hide uh, which we do for a lot of people is hide a stereo in the glove box there. That would be a really nice treat. That way you can have your music with you, right? And you don't mess up this beautiful, beautiful artsy dash here with the molded in vents and this piece right here. I think that uh, that would be a nice touch. And I think that uh, I think that you would really have a great time driving this car. All right, so we close up this video. Let's run down a few things. First off, the styling of the car is fabulous. And you already know that. And the reason why I know you know that is because you said, wow, that's a great looking car, but you didn't know why at first. And now after we looked at all of the nice little touches and effort that went into it, you're like, oh yeah, now I kind of get it. Wide white radials on here. These are radials, not the old style bias ply tires because they drive so much better, but they still look great. All restored interior. Uh, the nice V8 with uh, uh, dual exhaust, it sounds really good going down the road. The detailed engine compartment, like if you wanted to take this car to a car show, you could do that. If you wanted to just drive it to work once in a while or go out on weekends with another couple or take the kids somewhere, this is so cool. Can you imagine pulling up to a school or, or taking the kids to college in this thing with the luggage and stuff at the back? This would be so awesome. Anyway, call us, 301. 816-1000 will tell you all about this 56 Buick Special. Don't forget to uh, share that video down below if you don't mind. And uh, if you would like it as well, that would be great. That helps, us, uh, that helps us get our name out there as well. And don't forget to watch the test drive video. I think you're going to really like it. And then hopefully we'll find a way to get it in your garage.